Some of y'all don't even understand. God is setting you up now. He's setting you up for elevation by your present hard and difficult relationship situation. Uh, it's like, how can you love God that you've never seen and hate people that you have with you every day? That person on your job is getting on your nerves? Uh, that's your assignment. It's God's way of protecting you from the arrogance of unforgiveness. That spouse, that mate, mm -hmm. that you're having trouble with now, it's God's way of protecting you from the condemnation of unforgiveness. For he told Hosea, don't just marry her, but have a child by her. I need you to get intimate with somebody who works your nerves. I need you to invest time in somebody who rubs you the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need you to consistently pray and consistently bless somebody who's consistently cursing you. I need you to consistently re release people who are consistently offending you. When he married her, she was a prostitute. Jezreel means seed or seedy. Wherever there is a seed, there is a potential. Seeds represent potential for life. Wherever there is a seed, there is something inside of the seed that when it is properly planted and nourished and watered, it grows. The text says, somebody shout the text says, the Lord said, call the boy Jezreel because I will soon punish the house of Jehu for the massacre at Jezreel and I will put an end to the kingdom of Israel. And in that day, I will break Israel bow in the valley of Jezreel. What does that mean? What does that matter? I'm glad y'all asked. Uh, my brothers and my sisters, when you consider who this man Jehu is, Jehu is a man that had been anointed by the prophet Elijah to be a king of Israel. Remember, Elijah was confronted by or confronted King Ahab, whose wife, Queen Jezebel, had convinced Ahab to lead Israel in idol worship. God tells Elijah to anoint Jehu as the next king. When he anoints Jehu, what Jehu does is he confronts Jezebel and tells the people who are around Jezebel to cast her down out of the window that she might fall and that she might fall to her death. He is also instructed to kill King Joash and his whole household. The Bible says that this man, Jehu, does what he is commanded to do. He kills not only Jezebel, but he also kills the seed of Jezebel who would be left to reign the, in the entire land of Israel. The problem was was after Jehu killed the king Joash, he went too far and he started killing everybody who was in the city of Jezreel. In other words, he killed anybody who was in that particular place who was associated with that particular period of time. God gets angry because he kills people who had potential in them to repent and turn their hearts back to God. What is this message 
saying to us? It is saying to us that if you love yourself, you must learn how to show people the compassion that God has shown you while you were in your mess. If you love yourself, it will always be proven by compassion that you have for other people. In other words, you can't go through killing everybody for the thing that one person did. Some of you in here getting ready to shout off this. There are people in here, watch this, who don't like you because of who does not like you. Okay. Let, let me say that one more time. There are people who don't like you because of who does not like you. All right, since I didn't get an amen, let me bring it further. And there are people that you don't like because of who somebody else does not like. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here is what Jehu was guilty of. He got so full of himself that he started shedding the blood of people that God said have potential to give me glory. And if you love yourself, you must make it up in your mind that you are going to walk in compassion and see that, watch this, that people are in different stages of their process. And if you walk in compassion, you will not be guilty of prematurely killing somebody that God wants to save, writing somebody off that God wants to deliver. God said, if you don't walk in compassion, you will be guilty of prematurely killing somebody that I want to use in that next season. And I came to preach to you and tell you that if you love yourself, you will stop being so judgmental. You'll stop being so condemnatory. You will stop, watch this, judging people definitely who are just are in a phase of their development into who God has created.